Hello, Glendora Unified School District families. We wanted to take a moment to introduce you to the California School Dashboard Tool. What this is, it is released by the California Department of Education, and it is a way for community members and parents to explore information about their local school or district. You can access this tool by going to caschooldashboard.org, or a quick internet search of California School Dashboard should take you right to it. Once you get to this home page, you'll want to enter the name of the school or the district that you'd like to search. It should give you a list to choose from. In this case, I'm going to look at Glendora Unified School District as a whole, although you can search by schools in specific. And what it takes you to is the performance overview or the dashboard for that particular school or district. This is used to explore the performance of Glendora Unified under California's new accountability system. Now, first and foremost, this is not a comparability tool. In other words, you cannot use this system to compare Glendora Unified to any other district or, or compare your school to any other school in the state of California. That is not what it's designed for. It's truly designed to measure a district or school's growth and performance over time. It does so with a series of indicators. And as you can see on this dashboard, most of those indicators have a gas gauge-like graphic ranging from red to orange to yellow to green and on the far right to blue, blue being the highest performance and red being the lowest performance. This is based on two factors, both the district's current year results as well as whether or not those results have improved. When looking at these indicators, they're just going to give you a, a very broad overview. In order to get detailed information, you're going to have to scroll down this website. You'll get the school or the district details. You'll get the population. But below that is where you'll start to get some detailed information that will be of help to you. That's under academic performance. In this case, I have four flip cards, one for English language arts, one for mathematics, one for English learner progress, and one for college and career preparedness. These dashboards start to give more information. So I'll look at mathematics, for instance. Glendora Unified is at a green on the gas gauge, and we are 8.4 points above standard. So for the first time, you'll actually start to see how we are doing um, compared to the state standard. Now this shows that we maintained, and they consider it a maintain because it was a, a, an insignificant drop of 2.2 points from 2017 to 2018 an increase. As you look further down, you can actually see what's called the equity report, where they look at student groups in each of those colors. We had zero of our student groups in the red. We had two in the orange, two yellow, three green, and two blue. You can actually click on this purple arrow here to find out exactly which groups those were and get additional information as well. So we're still in mathematics, but as I clicked on that arrow, it now tells me, as I said, no groups were in the red, two student groups, African American and students with disabilities in the orange, two Hispanic and are socioeconomically disadvantaged were in the yellow, as well as green having our English learners, students with two or more races, as well as our white students, and in the blue group, our Asian and Filipino students. Below that, you can get even more detail by exploring the performance level. You can toggle between the groups, so it's highlighted on our first group, which would be orange, but you can toggle over to green, for instance, and take a look at those three student groups that fell under that particular color in mathematics. If I look at our English learners, for instance, this shows me that, yes, that while they're in that green group, they were 7.9 points below the standard. This was an increase from 2017 to 2018 of 5.2 points. It also shows that we have 410 students within that subgroup. If I click from where it's highlighted purple here on student group to purple on the state, it actually shows that as a state, it was a 69.9 point or 70 points below standard. Let me click on that again. Our students in Glendora Unified performed eight points below standard compared to the state which was 70 points below. Uh, statewide, they maintained 
there was a in slight increase of 1.5, and there are nearly a million English learners within the state of California. So again, you can start to get more information based on that. This graph actually shows the distance from standard. As I said, we are slightly above the standard, which is why you'll see it right there. Now I can click on back to overview and take me over here. As I said, most of these indicators on the dashboard have a gas gauge like graphic. Some do not. For instance, implementation of academic standards, parent engagement, local climate study. These indicators are self-reported information based on state criteria. So the Glendora Unified School District has to report to the state with regards to all of these categories and based on the questions and the information that they request from us, we have met the standard in each of those areas based on um, the requirements from the state. If you're looking for additional information or if you want to toggle between schools, there are a couple of those dif different options right here. Also, as you scroll down towards the bottom, you will also see this about the accountability system. So if this gas gauge isn't quite making sense to you yet, it is a new system. Again, it's not a comparability tool. In order to understand that better, you can actually click and get more details from the state and their explanation as to what it is they're trying to show with this dashboard.